Hello, I'm District Governor Tiffany Irvin, and this is our August Rotary Report. As you know, last month we celebrated Membership and Extension Month in Rotary, and I'm pleased to report that we welcomed 65 new members in our district since July 1. Yet we are currently at plus 23 in membership growth for the first two months. We are still on what is considered the success track for membership growth in our district, but this is a reminder that attrition is real. We must have strategic and deliberate plans to grow our membership. Unfortunately, hope is not a plan. That's one reason we are offering a half-day intensive seminar training on Saturday, September 28th for both membership and public image. We will also host a concurrent session that morning for the Rotary Foundation and a grants management seminar for anyone who is interested in applying for a district grant during the spring of 2020 under District Governor-elect David Wachter. The sessions will begin promptly at 9 a.m. with an amazing keynote speaker and will finish by 1230 so you can get back home to your family. There's no charge to attend, and continental breakfast and snacks will be provided by our friends at Ingalls. If you'd like to stay afterwards, the Duke Energy Technology Lounge will be open for one-on-one -on -one consultations to answer questions about social media, district and global grants, and the DACDB. Registration for both events is now open on the DACDB, so please go to Calendar, make sure you have district events selected, and click register now for either the Foundation and Grants Management Seminar or Membership in Public Image. I appreciate the Southern Fried Rotary hospitality you all are showing me during my official visits, and I am amazed at both the quantity and quality of the projects that you're accomplishing in your communities. Here are a few highlights from last month. You truly demonstrated you are people of action last month. From a highway cleanup, serving at a food pantry and a local dental program, hosting the Special Needs World Series, supplying books for a little free library, working at United Way's Day of Caring and the Boys and Girls Club, serving a Sunday supper, cards and letters for veterans on the upcoming Blue Ridge Honor Flight, birthday party in a bag, and collecting backpacks and school supplies. Today we are doing one for the mini pantries that we have in our town, and we do baggies of foods that are easy to grab, grab and go foods. Will be going to Burke United Christian Ministries. So these people are in transitional housing where they are just beginning to be on their own. So we have lots of different things, kitchen items, um, some bathroom items, things that they might need um, to get started and get their house up and running. Involved our WKRT listeners to ask them to help us help reach. So the next step program is for our residents to stay in our shelter to actually find a house of their own that the ones that don't actually go back to their abusers. And that means that they need furniture, that they can get through our thrift store, and they need toilet paper, which we don't have. We have rooms and mops and laundry baskets and those kind of things that you need to set up like a home. Your donations are amazing. I couldn't believe it. I walked up through here. Two clubs have even gotten a head start on their Cinderella project for this year. We just wanted to present this check for $500 to Interfaith Assistance Ministry to help children with shoes. This money comes from our main fundraiser, the Tour to Apple, and participants actually donated above and beyond the participant fee for the cycling event to help out folks like yourself. So we have this token pair of shoes and the check for $500, and we just love what you're doing. This check will help us provide shoes for at least 50 kids. And we're so, so grateful. The Countdown to History banner is still making its way around the district, collecting signatures at club meetings and community events. If you haven't scheduled it yet in your area, reach out to District Polio Chair Catherine Morsani to get it on the calendar. You continue to amaze me with successful fundraisers like the Ohana Mud Run, a yard sale, a golf tournament, a Twilight 5K, a water bottle relay collecting dimes, and Nashville songwriters in the round. You also gave away thousands of dollars in the form of charitable grants and donations to organizations in your communities. We were honored last month to host past Rotary International Vice President Ann Matthews as she spoke to the Bryson City Club and a joint meeting of the Haywood County Clubs. What an ambassador she is for the Rotary Foundation. Congrats to the Rotary Club of Marion for being named Best Civic Club by readers of the McDowell News. I had no idea how much fun my official visits would be with you and your clubs this year, but I truly appreciate you making these visits part of my adventure in service this year. I've been given a tiara and a custom Rotary crown, 
a supply of moon pies, sorry to say those have all disappeared already, been honored with donations to Polio Plus and the CART Fund in my honor, enjoyed a motorcycle ride, and even been featured in a Southern-themed skit written just for me. The president of the Pisgah Forest Rotary Club even created his own Rotary Geek shoes and wore Southern fried Rotary attire for my visit. But the Morganton Rotary Club wins the award for pushing me the farthest from my comfort zone by inviting me to participate in the Ohana Mud Run and Obstacle Course. I'm proud to say I did it, but I think I'm busy that weekend next year. If you haven't visited our website lately, you have missed a lot. Not only are we sharing regular updates from the district and RI, we're also sharing the stories that your club is producing in the DACDB. If your club is not currently using Easy Stories as part of our database, make sure you send someone to the training on September 28th to learn how. There are some great articles this month about opportunities to serve, fellowship, and network alongside other clubs, like the Pub Corps Meal Packing event on September 15th and the Blue Ridge Honor Flight on September 21st. There's also a wealth of information about the Million Meals Project and next February's Polio Plus Cruise. And don't forget to subscribe to our district's YouTube channel to see all the fun member spotlight videos. There's a new one posted each week. The Rotary Club of Haywood County chartered a new Interact Club last month at the Early College High School, and we announced dates for RILA in 2020. Start working now to identify leaders in your schools to sponsor for next year's event. Last month, we said farewell to eight outbound youth exchange students, and we welcomed five inbound students to our district from Belgium, Brazil, France, Spain, and Germany. We owe a huge thank you to Fred Reidinger from the Rotary Club of Brevard and his team for doing such a great job with this program. Now is the time to be thinking about hosting a student next school year. Keep sending us your photos and videos to include in this newsletter and our e-news that comes out in the middle of each month. We want to hear about your projects, your fundraisers, your grants, your special events. We would love to share your story. Last week, I had a great visit in Columbia, South Carolina, working on some details for our 2020 district conference. Registration will open on October 1, and you do not want to miss this event. I can't wait for you to see some of the things that we have planned. Thank you again for all you are doing to celebrate Southern Fried Rotary and to demonstrate that you are people of action connecting the world. See you next time.